Imagine in Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, if at a rodeo in Missouri, they have a clown with the president on it. And the national media is calling for the guy to be fired. He has been fired. He has been blacklisted by the Rodeo Association that has put out a letter saying that he has been blacklisted. They're very, very proud of themselves. And clearly the announcer and everybody else were involved in it, and it was part of a skit. Why don't we fire the janitor of the rodeo? You know, let's let the government fund al-Qaeda, murder people in mass, spy on us illegally, persecute the press, arrest uh, members of the media for just reporting news, uh, you know, federalize police, the government openly training to confiscate our guns, saying the number one enemy is Tea Party. They have the military all over the country trying to take on local governments if they stand up for the Bill of Rights and Constitution, just like the county government said they knew the government was planning to do, what was it, Lubbock last year, guys? It was Lubbock, wasn't it? Yes. So, 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 so we've got all of that going on. And meanwhile, the, the socialist and people don't like their dear leader, people making fun of them. And so now don't worry, he's been blacklisted, don't worry. Uh, and they're saying it's racist now uh, and all the rest of that. And, and this may even be staged. For all we know, we've caught him doing racist stuff to go after Rand Paul. Uh, we caught him just a few weeks ago, the Democrats down there at the Trayvon Martin deal saying we're all racist and saying racist stuff in front of the news cameras. So this could be staged. Quite frankly, I've watched some of the video of it and seen the photos. It looks like it was something real. Sounds like something they did do. And by the way, there probably are people out in the middle of nowhere that, you know, make jokes about black people. I guarantee you, you go to some, you know, other ethnic event, you're going to see people making fun of other groups. That's what humans do. But the whole point is, is it, is, is it big national news? No, it's national news because they want to divert us and distract us. And they're, I mean, I've got the quotes here. They've got a, mus uh, a, a uh, musician saying, uh, it was scary. Everybody screamed and just went wild as the announcer talked about having the bull run down the clown with the Obama mask. It was at that point I began to feel a sense of fear. It was the level of enthusiasm beam a 48-year-old musician from Higgsville said Sunday, referring to the reaction from the crowd that filled the fair's grandstand. Now, that's where CNN and the rest of them, because I've seen it on TV, are really playing on the ignorance of most people that hadn't been to a rodeo. You may have seen bull riding on TV or something professionally, but not what goes on during the breaks. The clowns always run from the bulls. The, the, the announcer always says, that bull going to get him. That bull going to run him down. That is standard, and that is not racist, okay? They're trying to say they want to run down our God, Obama, who, who's the puppet front man for the globalist. They're saying they want to run him down. Oh, my goodness. It's so evil. It's so bad, ladies and gentlemen, to make fun of our leader. No one should be able to even wear a mask of him on Halloween because that's racist, too. You make fun of Obama. You've seen all these stories about how it's racist to make fun of Obama. When everybody made fun of Bush. Everybody made fun of Ronald Reagan. I've made fun of Bush myself and gone out with Joe Rogan, dressed like, like Bush Sr. He was Bush Jr. And he throws me out of a wheelchair. We all know, oh, my gosh, Joe Rogan and Alex Jones, they're against white people. No, we're not. We were doing a skit about them being devil worshipers at Bohemian Grove. We were joking around. It's Belly the Beast intro. You guys can probably find it. So I say this. They say you can't, can't say that a bull was going to run over a clown, and they play on the ignorance of the people. Going, They wanted to have bulls run over Obama. That's a death threat. That's a, no, it's not. But here's the deal. This is not a sacred image. Obama is just a puppet frontman who symbolizes tyranny in this nation and collectivism and don't worry about tyranny and you didn't build your business. So now they're saying the Secret Service might investigate because the bull might, but you know, is that a threat to Obama? What a load of bull. You know what? I'm not intimidated by all this. I want nothing to happen to Obama because he's a nothing but a front man of the globalist. I want him to be discredited and politically destroyed. An American idea is brought forward again, but I'll tell you one thing. I've got every right to, to destroy the image of the so-called emperor, and I'll do it anytime. I please. You understand that, you scumbag, New World Order filth? Good. Unbelievable how they sit there and play people like a fiddle. How they sit there and manipulate everybody, and I, for one, am sick and tired of it. Now, I'm not going to get much more mad today, folks, but people praying to Obama... The media trying to make him some kind of, you know, godlike dictator and all this crud while the military trains to take on conservatives and libertarians. This country's in danger.
And I need to conserve my energy. I got a bunch of guests coming up and a lot of news today. And believe me, I'm not putting on an act here upset on air. I was blowing up during the break. God help me. Does anybody else get concerned about what's going on here? All the news straight ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is a opposite side of the universe from NPR and the attempt to brainwash you and put you into a trance with hypnotism, we're it. I am the polar opposite of NPR. They promote collectivism, communism, socialism, corporate cronyism, lies, deceit, division, fraud, scamming, sucking off taxpayers. We support the opposite of that. And uh, I do get wound up in here because I, I, I read news for hours at night, hours in the morning, and then I go exercise, I come into work, and then I just blow up on air a lot. It, 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 it really does happen, and I need to settle down and cover the news uh, here. It's just that it really gets to me to see what an authoritarian country we're turning into and how the system wants to put out the message that you don't talk about government, that that's somehow unpatriotic. If you're a radio listener, I had a plastic mask of uh, the so-called person that is the front man for the globalist uh, as they dismantle the country. And I'm very upset about the country being dismantled. I'm very upset about them shutting off our energy systems, our industrial systems. This is acts of war by the globalist on record, post-industrial operation. And seeing my country destroyed and conquered is very painful so that we can all be collectivized and uh, be, be turned into slaves and to watch them pass unconstitutional laws so you can't get your money out of the country or where citizens can't even leave if they say you, quote, uh, aren't allowed to without even having an indictment or a crime. Uh, the, the, the country is shutting down on every front. But the movie theaters are still open. There's still all the entertainment and all the distractions in the toxic culture, and it really hurts me. It really gets to me. But here is Barack Obama, and I tore up a plastic mask of our, of our king. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama is not my king. He is not my master. He is not my lord. He is nothing but a mask of the globalist to bring in their world government. And I have sworn total resistance to it. And I'm sorry if, like a race car, sometimes I shoot my RPMs up and blow an engine on air. Uh, but I appreciate everybody uh, joining us. So, so again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am now Obama Lecter. Uh, CJ saying I look like uh, Hannibal Lecter now with the lower mandible uh, of Barack Obama on my face. I think we've created a new character where Obama tells you the truth. Hi, this is Barack Obama without my teleprompter. I was raised by the Ford Foundation and Carnegie Endowment, part of a program of over a thousand children raised with one of them targeted to be president as a front man to bring in the collapse of the United States. I am the expression of a hundred year robber baron program to finally bring the United States to its knees. Soon all of you will learn to serve the collectivization <laughs> because it's liberal as I double the funding for forced abortions in China and Africa, as we move forward with the sterilization via Gardasil in Mexico, I will be praised by all the minority organizations and groups because we fund them from the start through the Rockefeller Foundation in 1910, and we control them now, and nothing will stop our operation because we do it in a trendy, loving way. <laughs> you guys like the new outfit? Maybe I should maybe I should host the whole show with our new friend. Again, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go to infowars.com forward slash show to find the free uh, video feed right there. I think we should have more visits with our friend. Obama took his mask off. He ripped the pieces aside, and there was the New World Order technocrats who want to fight racism behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to brush with fluoride, boys and girls, and take your shots. Obama loves you. <laughs> mm. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen.